Cookie Monster once said, Today, me will live in the moment, unless it's unpleasant, in which case, me will eat a cookie. Last week, we embarked on the most important mission in the history of mankind, ranking all the available Girl Scout cookies. Today, we taste the final competitors and cast the irrefutable judgments on these tasty treats. The world as we know it will change within the hour as we pass down our harsh justice. The Girl Scout Cookie Ranking, Part 2. You tried it! You tried that. We're here to finish off the Girl Scout cookie rankings. I'm Nick Novak with my pals Chad Hancock. It's cookie time! <laughs> Nick Gagger. See you for cookie. <laughs> <laughs> that song's better than whatever. What's, what's this movie? Beverly Hills something? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> what is that about? What is that movie about? What's the premise? Uh, they start a group of Girl Scouts in Beverly Hills. Oh, it's like a newer movie, right? Is it newer with Melissa McCarthy or something? Or am I thinking of something different? No, you're <laughs> totally thinking of the... No, this one's from the 80s. Uh, True Beverly Hills is from the 80s. The Melissa McCarthy one, what the fuck is that one called? I think I know what you're thinking of, but that's something totally different. All right. It's a comedy? It's a joke True that... True Beverly Hills? Yeah, it's the joke that, like, rich kids don't do Girl Scouts? Like, I guess I don't understand the... It's not a comedy. It's a... It's this one, Best Picture. I remember now. It had Dan- it's a... Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> Political allegory? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a war movie. What role did Sidney Poitier play? Was he one of the Girl Scouts? Oh, True Beverly Hills. That's the first movie that that featured uh, slow motion bullet time. <laughs> right. So, yeah. yeah. There was that big action shootout they had in the middle. <laughs> which mm-hmm. which actor mm-hmm. could do, would you most want to see in the role of Girl Scout cookie leader um, in a dramatic <laughs> role? Uh, I guess the obvious choice, Sam Jackson, right? <laughs> right. You're going to sell these cookies or you're going to burn in hell. <laughs> right. Something like that. I want all these Monday to Friday cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly i think uh jason statham would make a great cookie guy yeah He's drop kicking cookies into people's face <laughs> i was just about to say the rock <laughs> right, which is pretty right. just right in line since they're coming out with the new fast and furious movie with the two of them i just want to see some like real serious actor like a daniel day lewis or someone who just <laughs> does serious roles <laughs> anthony hopkins or right. something like philip that. seymour hoffman as he is right now what? Just a dead body. <laughs> just a pile of bones in a coffin. <laughs> and he's still better actor than like uh, Pauly Shore. That... <laughs> I, that is quite the gamut of acting right there. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, like someone like Joaquin Phoenix would be all meth about it, just wearing the Girl Scout skirt like offset, just going around like, call me Nancy, like getting all mad at people, like because they're not referring to him as a Girl Scout leader. Be interesting. What might Morgan Freeman sound like selling cookies? Sell these fucking cookies, <laughs> Red, or I'll send you to the warden. <laughs> Morgan's got a real potty mouth in that movie. Huh? <laughs> <He's wearing. laughs> I think you got Sam Jackson and Morgan Freeman matched up. Sell these motherfucking cookies, Red, you piece of shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> you alright? <laughs> 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 well, um, in case you missed the last episode, we started ranking Girl Scout cookies. Uh, we did a lot of the popular ones. Last time we did the Thin Mints, Samoas, Dosi Dos, Trefoils, and Tagalongs. And if, we're not going to go over our ratings again. So if you missed that, uh, you'll catch it on the flippity flip. But we're just going to move right into. <laughs> the, Man, you are the next to what the kids are into. <laughs> Should we go over them? <laughs> We're not going over our motherfucking rankings, Red. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we give the rating? Okay, I'll, here's what I did. <laughs> yes, give the rating. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna go over it at the end when we rank all of them. So okay, all right. They'll find out then. Stay tuned. Oh, okay. All right, but we do have five lesser known uh, Girl Scout cookies this time through. We use a five point scale to rank them: a love debt, like debt, indifferent to debt dislike that and hate that um so let's start at the bottom of the barrel uh we were warned before the episode uh by geiger that 
these cookies were dog shit. So let's start with the huh. Toffee Tastic. Chad, give us the rundown. Sure. These are in a light blue box. These are the they say gluten free in all caps. So these are rich, buttery cookies with sweet, crunchy toffee bits. Now, I like toffee. You know, toffee, uh, a toffee cookie can be really, really good. On the other hand, a gluten free cookie cannot be good. Correct. So this will be um, this will be interesting. I don't like toffee. And I, I've had these before in full disclosure because my wife has celiacs and it's like eating a spoonful of sand. These things. <laughs> no max <Novak's> face <laughs> as he slowly chews it. <laughs> Let's try it out. Now, I, I committed to eating the full cookie of every single cookie. So it smells fine. I hope you have a couple glasses of water. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. These motherfucking oh. cookies are terrible, Red. Holy shit. That's so... That is like eating sand. Yep. Sure uh. is. Eat that whole cookie, Chad. Oh, fucking right. hell. The, the Girl Scouts should be disbanded <laughs> for selling this cookie. <laughs> Does your wife like these, Geiger? No. Okay. In fact, we had half a box from last year still in the thing, but I didn't want to give Novak like year old versions of these because I thought he might need a pickaxe to get through them. So <laughs> <laughs> this is what to win some kind of prank badge or something like that. By... <laughs> <laughs> this is called the unsuspecting consumer badge they got. <laughs> Foist these on the public. These are dry <laughs> AF. Yeah. Ugh. Oh. <sighs> And, right. I, and I don't know, you said you like toffee. I hate toffee. No, you like toffee. I just don't like it. It's like uh, sticky and not that I'm good I'm indifferent tasting. to that, mostly with toffee. Uh, there's a few like toffee-based candy bars that are fine, but I do, I would not, If even if you handed it to me at a party, I wouldn't eat the toffee. I don't, I don't like toffee in candy bars generally, but I think in a, in like a chocolate chip cookie that has little toffee bits in it. That can be really good. And here, actually, these toffee bits, when you get like a little bit of that toffee bit, this is not terrible, but the, the rest of the cookie around it is is just Ugh. a fucking miscarriage. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's a commensurate way to put it. Geiger. Uh-huh. Uh, tell us what you think of the toffee. Yeah. No, it's a piece of shit. It <laughs> doesn't taste good. It is so crumbly and dry. And this is because it's gluten-free. I mean, I get that they're trying to like lure in a new market to make money off of of people that couldn't eat the rest of their cooking line that's great we get it girl scouts nice try but these are bad they don't taste good i don't like toffee these are garbage uh like i said it's like it's like i i mean i guess it would be a love dad if i needed to like build a sandbox or spackle my deck or something these are fucking terrible i don't i don't think you spackle a deck anyway but uh these are bad I would need to give these a hate debt. These are terrible. I don't want to eat them anymore, and I will throw the box out. All right. Chad, what do you think? <sighs> you know, uh, I don't... I'm, I'm waffling here. I'm, 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 I'm going back and forth between... What is there to waffle about? You put the cookie in your mouth and yell Jesus Christ into the microphone. What is there left to talk about? Yeah, but on that first bite, I didn't get any of the toffee. So, you know. Did you buy these from a one-legged Girl Scout or something that you feel bad about giving them a bad rating? <laughs> <laughs> no, all it is is because I, I did eat the whole cookie, and those little toffee bits are they're 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 okay. They're like they're they're fine, but uh, yeah, the rest of the cookie is is bad. I think I would probably rather take a regular two-legged Girl Scout and make her have only one leg than eat another one of these cookies. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go hate that. <laughs> I guess I did use the word miscarriage to describe this cookie at one point, so I should, I should give it a hate that. All right. Um, if anything, Geiger, uh, what you told us beforehand, you really held back quite a bit uh, because these are terrible. I couldn't get through the whole cookie. It was a, I think eating sand was a good explanation. There wasn't much of a taste. They're just bad all around. Uh, I'll never eat another one. And so this Girl Scout cookie is a flaming bag of dog shit. Three hates. It's <laughs> yeah, a, it is. It's yeah. a spoiler alert that it's, it's probably awful. number 10 on the f definitive rankings later. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till we try the dog, fit, <laughs> the dog shit flavor one. Is, right. might also be down there. 
yeah, before I before I mailed you guys some of those uh, thanks a lots, I did uh, wipe them all over my dog's asshole. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. Right. All right. It says to do it on the box, though. All right. So let's go to uh, the, the s'mores. Now we have two competing s'mores here. We're going to do the cookie style one first. The cookies? So they're both cookies. <laughs> sandwich style. What? I meant to say sandwich style one. Sandwich style. It's like, is that okay. supposed to help me? <laughs> <laughs> it's cookie time. All right, we're gonna try the Girl Scout cookie first. Uh, what? <laughs> so the reason that there are two s'mores is there are actually. I'm just gonna nerd out for a little info bot here. Is uh, there's two different baking uh, bakeries that make Girl Scout cookies depending on what part of the country you live in. So there's um, Little Brownie Baking Company and then ABC Baking Company. And um, these ones that we're eating here, these are the little brownie ones, these ones that look like sandwiches. And for some reason, when they made the s'mores one, which is the newest Girl Scout cookie, they use different recipes from the two different bakeries. But all the rest of them is like like tag alongs, but they're called peanut butter patties if you get them from the other bakery. But the recipe is the same, I think. All right. So this one looks like um, two. They almost look like shortbread style cookies, but of course, it's a uh, graham cracker flavored on the outside. And then a both a white and dark cream on the inside mixed together and i can't read the description from the box because i don't have it you had to mail me what was also funny about these is that by the time we went i go, went to go get the cookies from novak his family had eaten most of them so there was two cookies left so chad got a whole cookie and novak and i are each splitting half <laughs> of a sandwich cookie well, i'll have to make my decision within <laughs> two bites worth of food but that's fine i can do it it does taste like a s'more it has a s'mores flavor Mm. <laughs> I was just about to say this doesn't taste anything like a s'more. <laughs> I think this is going to be a tough one because we're inevitably going to end up comparing the s'more ones to each other, as opposed to just whether we like them or not. You know what I mean? Yes, and we're also going to compare them to the other eight fucking cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Derp. That's the whole premise of the episode. I get it. I'm just saying, like, it, if even if they're both good, we'll inevitably think the one that isn't as good as the other s'more cookie is, like, bad, necessarily. That's what I was trying to say. All right. Okay. Chad, you're leading off. I think this is a, this is a pretty solid cookie. This is nothing mind-blowing. You know, I'd, I'd put it probably on the, the upper echelon of stuff we've tried so far. I'd, I don't think I would ever, like, go back for them. But, I mean, that chocolate's pretty good. The, the marshmallow is a little sort of processed tasting, and I'm not in love with the cookie, but, like, the actual sandwich part of the cookie. But I, I think it's just good enough that I'm, I'm going to, a very, very mild like that from me. I was thinking indifferent, but but I'm just going to bump it up to like. They're, they're all right. <sighs> you know what? I'm sort of right in line with you, Chad. I was really torn between indifference and like. So I feel like that's probably where that cookie belongs, somewhere. It just depends on my mood, kind of. I feel like I like it. Some kind of Bermuda Triangle style (laughs) area between those two. I liked it a little more today than I did uh, when I tried them a week or two ago when we bought them. The marshmallow came through decently, I thought, uh, and saved it. I am also going to slide it into the very low end of a like that. So, Geiger, there's a knock at the door. It's s'mores. Now, you you have the optional s'mores joke you can make. So you could use it now, or you can use it during the next cookie segment. <laughs> I have to use it. One, I have to like one of these cookies <laughs> enough to want some more. I, unfortunately, am not going to answer the door. They're not bad. I'm right there in line with you guys for the most part. I, they're fine. But for me, I didn't notice as like Chad, you mentioned you like the chocolate flavor. I didn't really taste that much chocolate in it. It just tasted overall just generally sweet. And I thought the cookies were just kind of like you couldn't even taste them. They were just there. So I yeah, they were fine. Um, I think but that's I would fair. you you guys are saying they're kind of right on the border. I agree. I'm just gonna put them in indifferent instead of like that. I am totally fair. Pretty. I'm almost glad you did that because I don't think it really deserved a welcome visitor. Um, so thanks for the save. Let's go on to the, the second or or second dust more and see how it stacks up against the first. Maybe it'll even change my opinion on that first one. So these are the ABC bakery, uh, s'mores. Now the description here is a crispy graham cookie, double dipped in yummy cream icing and finished with a scrumptious chocolatey coating. So these ones are not sandwich style. These ones just look like a big flat 
huge, big, fat, flat square coated in chocolate. It looks a lot like a, a large square Thin Mint, actually, on the outside. Yeah. Um, it couldn't look more different than the other s'more. Yeah. There's a very thin layer of marshmallow in there. Like, you almost don't see marshmallow. I thought there was no marshmallow in mine when I first bit it. Now, even though these are brand new, the chocolate seems to have bloomed a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's uh, going to be problematic for our stomachs later, but uh seems to taste fine. All right. Um, I turn to lead off. It's going to be a little complicated here. This tastes more like a s'more than the last cookie, in my opinion. Right. Yes. Um, so much more that I'm going to go back and downgrade the last cookie <laughs> oh. to an indifferent. What did I just say? You guys all laughed at me. Because this is a superior s'more cookie. Um, no doubt about it. But it's not high enough for a love dad. Um, it's just, to me, a pretty good cookie. I do like the flavor. I think it could use a little more. Part of eating a s'more, like beyond the flavor, is that I want kind of like a mushiness to biting down. I feel like if there was a bit more, like a heavier marshmallow content um, on top, it could really upgrade this a ton. But I still am going to give it a like that while uh, downgrading the last s'more to an indifferent to that. So, Geiger, what do you think? Yeah, I'm with you. The, I think everything about those cookies better but the marshmallow. So, yeah, I said in the last one that I didn't taste that much chocolate. These are much chocolatier, and I think the chocolate's better. The actual cookie is better. It tastes more like a graham cracker, and it has a consistency graham cracker. I just wish there was more marshmallow in there. Um, but having said that, I think this is a like that. These are good. All right, Chad, knock on the door. Uh, Novak, you took the words right out of my mouth. I was also planning to go back and uh, <laughs> downgrade the other ones to an indifferent um, because, you know, I got to do the unthinkable and compare cookies here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm comparing these two cookies. Eat right. my asshole. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going back. I'm giving the previous s'mores an indifferent to that, which turns them into a uh, lazy electioneer. And I'm going to give these s'mores a like that. So they are, in fact, a welcome visitor. So um, we got a pretty good cookie on our hands here. I think you guys summed up the flavors and everything really, really good. This is this is a solid, solid cookie. All right. And all is right in the world. We've got those <laughs> ratings straightened out. Cutting all straight. Yeah. I hope someone just dropped in in the middle of this, like the first podcast I listened to. And was like, I'm going to retroactively give it a lazy election here. And then <laughs> what? I thought this was like snacking time. I'm so confused. <laughs> Look, all they need to do is consult the You Tried That Wikipedia. That is correct. They'll get uh, all the info they need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, uh, we've got two to go. Now we're going to do the Savannah Smiles next. I've never had this cookie before. Me neither. But Chad, read us off the description. Yeah, so this is the yellow box, and it says uh, crispy or crisp, zesty lemon wedge cookies dusted with powdered sugar. So this this could either be awful or really good and i don't know why like they come in a huge just giant bag yeah. where they're all floating there like all the rest of them came in like either like a plastic tray or like little sleeves this is just a huge bag of loose cookies which is very weird it's like a big bag of dog treats it's just like <laughs> yeah totally it's like a bag of dog treats it's the only cookie that's not um you know some kind of regular shape we're used to either a square or a circle or something it's just um, I don't know how to describe it, but it almost looks like a little ravioli or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a half moon, not a half crescent, but like just like a half circle. Ooh. I and you guys I like definitely taste the lemon. Lemony. Do you guys like lemon stuff? Like lemon squares and things like that? Uh, sometimes. Hmm. It's more lemony than I thought it would be. I don't know what to think of these. They don't skimp on the lemon. Oof. No, they don't. It's there. Powdered sugar's good. Hmm. I don't know what to think about these. Well, I've got the unfortunate news about that statement is that you're up first, Chad. <laughs> well, for the first time in my life, I might be at a loss for words. Uh, hmm. I think they're too. I I I think they're too thick. I, I I think there's a problem with the shape there. I think if these were sort of like thinner, circular shaped, and like a little crisper in that way, then they would feel more sort of like light and refreshing instead of this like big heavy thing that i'm sort of like chunking my way through um the lemon is a little too strong and and also because it's too thick it's like a little too dry so but it's not terrible again these are just sort of like a middle of the road thing for me i'm gonna go indifferent to that for these ones too a little disappointed in them i think they could have been a lot better all right starts with an indifferent geiger what do you think 
Yeah, largely the same. I actually, I, I know I said, well, they don't skimp on the lemon. They don't, but almost all you taste is like the acid of the lemon and not like a lemon flavor, if that makes any sense. Like I felt it was just like tart, but not necessarily a ton of lemon flavor because because the cookie is so thick. As you start working your way through, after you get past that first lemon like zing, it's just kind of a lot of dry cookie. Um, so I would probably go in different as well. I actually was looking forward to these is because they're so different from the others. They're one of the few cookies that aren't like, I don't know, like traditional desserty type flavors. Right. But I don't, it's close to, to it. It's actually close to it. It's like the reverse Bermuda triangle. And it's close to a dislike for me, but I will give them just the slightest of indifference. They're, they're fine. I don't, but I'm not probably going to go out of my way to eat more. Knock, knock. No. Mm-hmm. Hello. Is there an upcoming election? Oh. <laughs> I see those people ducking behind the couch. I'll just leave this here and walk away. <laughs> there's three stages of this cookie. There's when your lips first touch it, you taste mm. lemon immediately because the outside is so lemony. Um, and that's a little unpleasant because it's a, it's a tad too strong. Then I think the middle of it is fine. Like while you're actually chewing it, I felt pretty good about it. But then I didn't like the aftertaste that much either. Um, so overall, though, there's something... That, there's something about it that made me keep eating it, uh, but it's just not great. I'm going to go right with you guys and go indifferent. It's just, that it was a real tough one to place. But if you're a fan of very lemony stuff, I, I think you could, I could see somebody really liking these. Like some of these, I would say, I don't get why, um, I don't get why anyone would pick this box of cookies or why it would be their favorite. But um, this one, I could see someone loving these and saying, okay, I get that. You know, that's your thing. So, but indifferent from us. Yeah, and we've got right. one final cookie before we really uh, lay down the final verdict, and that's the thanks a lot cookie. And these cookies are the the biggest of the bunch. Um, they're very large <laughs> circles, and it looks like uh, well, why don't you read the description first, Chad? Sure. So thanks a lot. They are shortbread cookies dipped in rich fudge. And topped with an embossed thank you message in one of five languages. So I don't know why they needed to call that out, right? Like all the rest are a description of the ingredients, but here they're actually telling us that it has messages on them, which like, who gives a fuck? And the package has the uh, Eiffel Tower on it. So like, uh, all right, great. I have never heard of these before. What are the five languages? I've got thank you. I've got Asante. I've got his. Has- oh, geez, this is going to sound so fucking ignorant. Hasaya, Hasaya. I'm glad you went for that instead of me. <laughs> I have that one, too. I have that same <laughs> one, too. Yeah. Uh, Merci, and then Gracias is the fifth one. So I know what uh, three of those languages are. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Gracias, Thank You, and Asante. I'm going to guess Hasaya, Hasaya is probably like Chinese or something. I'm not going to guess. <laughs> when you look at a cross-section, the shortbread is, I don't know, 75% of the cookie and then the chocolate is the bottom uh 25 percent hmm. these are the size of a coaster these are not small cookies they're very that's big. exactly right i would say i could put a can of a can of uh, soda or something onto this safe i actually think you should yeah okay <laughs> i think i think it might have more use to you as a coaster than as a cookie because i have to say <laughs> it does taste like a coaster too that's the only problem <laughs> This guy was real. I think his side, his side is coaster, not thank you. Now, did you try each of the different languages to make sure there was no difference? <laughs> the French one tastes like brie for some reason. I mean, it's not really, it really isn't that bad. It's shortbread with chocolate on it. There's just a lot of shortbread. Like you said, Novak, the proportion is way off to me. Like, you don't, it's a, again, shortbread's just a boring, dry cookie. I don't know why, no. This one's not nearly as uh, buttery as you were so rhapsodically waxing in the previous episode but well yes that is a point that i will make um i will actually st- <laughs> i'll start it off they're not terrible and the i'm gonna hand out a lot of indifference to uh in this and i think that really is more an indictment on what the girl scout cookies are they're cookies that could be made probably pretty cheaply um none of them are amazing none of them are terrible they just make something that would appeal to a wide audience um, this cookie, I could eat it. If you gave it to me at a party, I would eat the cookie. <sighs> the shortbread in the regular shortbread cookie is so buttery. And that's why I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> this shortbread is far more dry. 
So it would take you like ten of these to rub all over your balls to meet what the what were we doing? I forget why we were rubbing <laughs> cookies on our balls last time. Hey, for the dog. For the dog. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope someone has to go back now to find out. Here's a spoiler. Go back to find out why we were rubbing cookies on our ball. <laughs> there was a reason? I forget why. Because cause there's, no, there's no good reason to do it. That's why. <laughs> I just can't recall while I was rubbing those cookies all over my genitals. So long story short, I'm giving them an indifferent... Uh, Geiger, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't I look. They don't taste bad, right? I'm just confused as to why they needed to add these. Like, what? What? At this point, they should be trying for things more like this uh, uh, Savannah Smiles. Like, even if we didn't like them that much, they're a different cookie. It's like a fruity taste or a citrus taste or something. These are just another shortbread and chocolate combination, which I feel like. Three or four or five of these cookies already kind of have that same general vibe, and so I just I guess That's I don't a really good point. Stand why they had to add it. It doesn't. It, there's no differentiation. Having said that, market variants aside, they they taste fine. They're just too they're too much shortbread for me. It's too dry. I will give them an indifferent to that. I just don't understand why they're making. All right, Chandler, do we have a second pamphlet at our door? Actually, this would this would be the third pamphlet. That's right. <laughs> after the retroactive s'mores changing. Yeah. Um, but, uh, all right, here's the thing. I totally hear what you guys are saying. I agree. These probably shouldn't exist. There's no reason for them to exist. The size is very weird. The proportions are like kind of off. It made me like read languages that like, I don't want to read because this is America speak English. (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) Kidding. Kidding. (coughs) That's a joke. Anyways, (laughs) Anyways, <laughs> um, I live in San Francisco. I don't really think that. Anyways, um, so, <laughs> but having said all that, I kind of liked it. I kind of liked the taste. the The chocolate was pretty good. Um, I, th- I thought I thought it worked for me. Something about it worked for me. So I'm actually gonna give these a like. That that's I think fair. They're okay. Um, but yeah, that's fine. Do you think they really only exist to like s- promote some kind of Girl Scout diversity? So they can put different languages on a cookie. A hundred percent. These 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 reek of like marketing and like you know PR kind of stuff or whatever. All right. Well, that's the final of the rankings. Now our statistician Chad is doing something with these rankings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, okay, but what we so what we're actually going to have to do. So we've all given ratings, and that's fine. Um, but. <laughs> What we're actually going to do here now is we're going to do a Mount Snackmore for all 10 of these flavors. So you have to uh, rank all of the flavors from, uh, you know, 1 to 10. And then I will total it up and we will get an overall Mount Snackmore of the Girl Scout cookies. And that will be our definitive Girl Scout cookie ranking. All right. I can't wait to accidentally rank them incorrectly based on my previous ratings. <laughs> Does anybody need a recap of what they gave anything? I actually wrote all mine down, so I'm in good shape. I think I recall. I'm not too concerned. Cool. <laughs> I'm, like a, I'm going through and figuring out my ratings here. I'll just uh, be quiet for a minute, and then we'll cut this silence. <laughs> Talk to you in a second, well, folks. We all sort of. I mean, sixty seconds of silence. Figure it out, and definitely should cut this and out. edit. And <laughs> I definitely know what I'm ranking tenth. Hmm, this is tough because I, I gave so many of them like indifference yeah. that this actually is like kind of hard. I'm with you. So, would you say this is harder than ranking fruit? <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. That was easy. I can't eat any of them. Wait, how do I have four left? All right, so I'll I'll step up here and go first with my uh, total rankings. Now at ten at the ten spot is the toffee, no question about it. It was it was an edible. Um, the the nine I have the Samoa, uh, the coconut really did it in. The eight I have put the Savannah smiles, and you know these are mostly in different cooks. So none of these were terrible. None of these I, I mean the majority of these I I liked at least a little bit. The seven I gave the Thin Mint. The six uh, was the S'mores. The S'mores one, which, which was s'mores? sandwich s'mores, brownie, whatever you call it. Yeah, the little brownie s'mores. Uh, five then would be the Tagalongs. 
Wow. She's... And four, I'm giving this these thanks ones the four. Really? That's another bad sign because I know. Wait, hold on. Um, I think I missed one. You had <laughs> Toffee Tastic, Samoa's, Savannah's, then what? Then was Thin. Thin Mints. Oh, Thin Mints. Thin Thin Mints as well. Thin Mints was seven. So you can skip ahead, everybody. This is riveting. Really three minutes in the podcast here. <laughs> <laughs> thin mints, then s'mores, then tagalongs. Okay, what's your number All four? All right, four. I just told you that. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then <laughs> three. The top three is the better of the two s'mores, the oh so buttery trefoils, and the dosy does are my top. And the guy is shaking his head either because. He can't rank his own cookies, or he's really upset with my ranking. I don't know which. <laughs> All right, guys. Number one is fudge cover Oreos. Wait, did I do this wrong? <laughs> All right, Geiger, you're up. I was shaking my head a because this is such a well-oiled machine, and b because I disagree with your <laughs> rankings, but that's fine. Um, Ten, I think the one place we will all agree is those toffee tastics can go get fired yep. into the sun. They're terrible. They would probably coat the sun in dust and kill all of humanity. Um, nine would be the trefoils. I really don't like the, the shortbread. I don't think it tastes good. Eight, um, I have the Savannah Smiles. I like what they tried to do. It just didn't taste that great. Seven, I put the thank yous. They're okay. Six, the small s'more ones, the sandwich s'mores. Five, uh, the do do Four, the, so the actual mountain snack more for me than four is the larger s'mores, the big square ones. Three are Samoas. Two and one should not be a surprise. Uh, two is Thin Mints for me, and one is Tagalog. Uh, still the best Girl Scout cookie, as it should be. All right, Chad. What do you think? Chad's still ranking. He's the only one doing actual work here. We at least kept it easier by not having a, a entire 18-page rule book and about what <laughs> cookies we're going to spin. <laughs> 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 How many dunks do you give it? <laughs> uh, I would give the trefoils three dunks for tasting like a trefoil. What? Okay, Geiger, why he does that? Yeah. Uh, my usual time killer of uh, which cookie do you think Shaq likes? A shawl. Have you seen Shaq? <laughs> I think Shaq likes to take one of each cookie and line them all up and then eat them all at once like a big sandwich. That's if you really Shaq had to does. guess, Shaq likes the thanks a lot because there's... They're the biggest. They're the biggest. Right. They're the biggest ones. They're the only ones that doesn't make like look like he's eating a goldfish and his giant paw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got I got everything ready. Here's my ranking, and actually, my bottom five is exactly the same as Novak's bottom five. So, um, tenth Ooh. place, we got the Toffee Tastic. It's absolute dog shit. We know that. Uh, ninth place, I got some Moas. Uh, eighth, I've got the Savannah Smiles. I like that it was a big swing in, uh, you know, they were, they were going for something there, but it just didn't work out. Right. Six, we got Thin Mints. And then, uh, I'm sorry. Wait, one, two, three. Seven Thin Seven Mints. Thin Mints. And six, the, um, sandwich style <laughs> s'mores from Little Brownie Baking Company. So here's where I differ. Fifth place, I'm going with Trefoils. Um, there's just not enough, uh, flavor there. Buddy. Fourth place, I'm going thanks a lot so they're basically like trefoils with chocolate added so i thought they were sort of a little bit better third place we're going with the do si do those are pretty good now my second place a little bit of a surprise i wouldn't have guessed this is the s'mores from the abc baking company i really really like those That's fair and of course first place did not change the tag along so here's our overall ranking 10th place with three <laughs> points is the tag along no is the uh toffee tastic no surprise <laughs> um ninth place with a total of nine points is the savannah smiles eighth place with a total of 12 points is the samoas seventh place with a total of 15 points is the s'mores from little brownie baking company then the next two is a tie for a tie for the next two slots uh as 17 points uh thin mints and trefoils Thin Mints that did you dirty. Wait, was that sixth and fifth? Yes, that was sixth and fifth. So tied for fifth place. So both of them are the, um, oh, I was going to remember, the Crazy Horse. They're both the Crazy Horse statue, which is uh, the the big Native American stat, uh, mountain that is uh, in progress far from, uh, or not far from Mount Rushmore. So that's our fifth place. 
crazy horse statue is a tie. All right. <sighs> anyway, rounding out the uh, Mount Snackmore here of Girl Scout cookies. Fourth place with 18 points. Thanks a lot. Bit of a surprise. Wow. Yeah, I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm not into that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just... you're, you're just not in that into it. Uh, then we have a tie for second place. Uh, so that's going to be with 24 points, a tie between the do si and the S'mores Cookies from ABC Baking Company. And taking the Washington position with 26 points, the Tagalongs. Oh, yeah. So there you go. That is uh, the Mount Snack Morning. You know, Novak, I bet you Shaq likes Tagalogs because he likes champions. <laughs> he respects the rings. It's a lot like the double stuff winning kind of, isn't it? I mean, we, it's kind of what you guys assumed when we came in. Yes. It was going to take basically one of the new cookies. All right. Chad queuing up the song. To knock off Tagalogs <laughs> for me because I know I like them. So go ahead, play it. Chad's queuing up a song. Here you go. DJ Chad, take it over. Oh, this is just where they're giving away uh, cookies. <laughs> All right, anyways. <laughs> this is indiscriminate music with girls screaming in the background. That's what There's you just one part of that clip where they're uh, selling cookies outside of like a gym. And uh, like all these like fit women are walking by and not buying the cookies. And then like a bunch of like uh, six or seven like fat women and in, in, like uh, skin tight, you know, yoga pants or whatever, just come running out of the gym and like start buying tons of cookies. <laughs> Hollywood's perception of Great fat movie. people is that they just uncontrollably sp- sprint toward food. Yeah, Wait. pretty much. I'm, uh, I'm going to eat a tag along to celebrate its victory. This is my like twelfth oh. cookie of the day. I'm not. I'm not so upset about the tag along winning. I I don't agree with it first, but more upsetting to me is that the thanks a lot um, beat out my boy the trefoils, which man I just I am a big fan of, and they lost to a different shortbread cookie that to me was incredibly inferior. Incredibly inferior. By one. Well, thanks point. a lot for me was seventh. Who else? Mine. I ranked them seventh. You guys ranked them fourth. Yeah, yeah. I, that was a mistake. Man. If I'd have known this would have happened, I would have go back and switch. <laughs> um, so, but you you put the you put uh, the other shortbread way at the bottom. I killed the it. trefoil. Yeah, I killed the trefoil for you uh, because they suck. That's why they and look. Maybe Novak. You know what? You know what the problem is. I'm lactose intolerant. And what are trefoils? Um, lactose tolerant. Buttery. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! They're buttery. You said it 18 <laughs> times in two episodes. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> For, uh, 49 podcasts in, we can't set each other up for one fucking joke. Wait, say that again. <laughs> say that again, and, and I'll do I'll do it this time. Do it. Okay, set, okay. Set me up. Yeah, I can. I, I guarantee you're saying buttery. I can't wait. All right. Mm, yeah, definitely. You know what the problem with the trefoils is, guys? I'm lactose intolerant. What are what are trefoils again? A miscarriage. No, <laughs> yep. wait, shit. No, I, no, fucked no, okay. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. Oh, man. Right. Hey, let me try again. Let we'll me try fix again. it in post. Okay. Go ahead. They're that big milky miscarriage. Feed it to me again. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, guys. Do you know why I think I don't like trefoils? Mm, why? I'm a heroin addict. Oh, fuck. Now I <laughs> fucked it up. Sorry. Oh, uh, shit. Okay. One more time. One more time for Noah. Yeah. One more time. I think there maybe the reason I don't like trefoils is that I'm lactose intolerant. And what are they, Novak? What are trefoils? They're motherfucking buttery red. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the warden spreading the trefoils all over his balls, Red. <laughs> These trefoils are commonly used in sexual deviant practices. This is just angry, <laughs> swearing Morgan Freeman. Which... <laughs> oh man, that's the motherfucking Shawshank Redemption, Red. I finally got to Zewataneo, and this place is a piece of shit, Red. <laughs> Why couldn't we go to Hawaii, you asshole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Anyway. All right. Well, there you have it. Next time, next uh, Girl Scout season, you won't have to worry about what cookies to buy anymore because we've told you which ones to buy. Um, so that'll do it. Any uh, final thoughts? Are you guys sick of Girl Scout cookies now after the season is done? Yeah, I can't eat anymore right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is the fifth box of tagalongs I've had in the last month, so I might be a little burned out on. Yeah, you, you probably should have lied. <laughs> what the fuck, you're... <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna live a tagalong life after this. Is... <laughs> Go down. Uh, 
real yeah. quickly, if you want to um, contact us, give us your thoughts on your, our overall rankings. If you really want to stick up for one of your favorites, let us know about it. If you want to host an intervention for Chad <laughs> uh, or anything else, you can reach out to us at you tried at gmail.com. On Facebook, we have a uh, You Tried That group. We're on YouTube. We're on SoundCloud. We are on Stitcher. We're on Instagram. We are also on Twitter at hashtag You Tried That. And uh, we always appreciate your feedback. And thanks for listening. All right. Uh, we'll call it a day then. And that'll do it for this Girl Scout episode. But we're going to be coming back soon to fill you in on some Easter candy. So join us next time when we'll be um, talking about Easter and the food you have then. Um, so we'll be back when we'll be trying out three brand new snacks. Oh, actually, I think I feel sick. Deuces. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>